so guys right now we have most of the stuff completed uh, we have a list which shows all our songs in our folder and we have three buttons so what else do you have to do so right now let's add the functionalities to the buttons so it can actually move to the next song go back to the previous song and actually stop music so to do that you're gonna need to define few methods a uh, few yeah, two, few functions let's f uh, first define next song function okay I'm gonna say I'm gonna call global index so you can actually use the same index variable and not I mean you don't we don't have don't want to use the locally created index within the function we want to use the index which is available globally so I'm gonna say next song which if you want to do the, if you want to play the next song you have to actually increment the index so I'm gonna say index plus equals one and I'm going to now load the song again okay now I got a after loading I obviously have to play it again that's set now let's say previous song I'm going to do the same global index index system minus equals to should work and we're gonna call in the same two lines again so I think this will do and let's define oops we're we done and let's do we're gonna just call stop that's it. We have three method, three functions which do these things. So we uh, what we what we uh, what we'll do right now is actually bind these functions to this button. So if I press next song, this next song will be called. If I press previous song, this function will be called. And if I press stop song, this function will be called. And to do that, it's pretty easy. It's just one line code. Just look at this. Uh, anyway, you want to. I want to just do it at last so I'll bind what's the first button name it's next button I'm gonna say dot bind button one don't worry I'll tell you what button one means and I'm gonna say next button oops not next button next song don't uh, don't forget to remove this as it doesn't take any arguments whatsoever so what's button one button one is an is actually the left click so if you left click on that button it's gonna do that if you say button two it will be a middle click middle click that means the wheel and if it is the button three it's a right click so if you right click on the button what happens if you middle click on the button what happens and if you left click on the button this happens so that's it now we have a previous button and we're gonna bind it to we're gonna bind it with button one that means it have it only it only start I mean it only happens when you left click on it Let's say previous button oops not previous button again previous song and stop button dot bind button one stop song Race. Okay, that's it. I think this should work. Let me check. So, how shall we know? Okay, it's not working. So, let me see. Oh, okay, now I know why it's not working. So, these are called events if you want to learn more about this uh, you have to check python events it's python has an event manager which actually re i mean reads and uh, reads mouse clicks so mouse click is an event a tap on the enter key is an event so all of these events are actually handled by python in a, in a bit more different way so i have to pass events to all of my functions so it actually understand what what's happening I mean it should pass the left click to that function right so let's see now to press the next button okay I just the guitar okay cool everybody gets baby baby just the 
so as you can see it completely works so i think we actually completed the completed the whole music player right now but there are a few things left to do and let's get into it okay guys so right now we have a basic music player which can show all the all the songs available in that folder and it can actually uh, go next in previous and stop these three buttons are right now functioning so what else are we missing from this uh, maybe um, we need to know which song we're playing right we just can't hear and say okay so what we'll do right now is we'll add a label which shows the uh, current song which is which, uh, current song which is playing so let's make a label i want to make it on top so song label i want to make it equal to label and put it in root and say text is equal to no it should it, it won't work like that so to update a label every time something happens it's it's not, not kind of direct it's kind of counter counterintuitive so maybe in other uh, maybe in other languages we can just say label dot update so we can't just do that right here so for now what we have to do uh, just just kind of try to understand so I have to create some variable which is a string where string where and I have to make text variable equals v I have to equate I means uh, make it make these both equal and let's make some pass or say width is equal to maybe 35 what this 35 what width is equal to 35 does is it makes the label length of 35 spaces so uh, I mean you have you kind of get the uh, you kind of get the idea right it it will only allow 35 letters to fit in that space more than 35 letters it's gonna crop uh, you can actually even use the a sticky condition oh, no, I think it's sticky condition yes I think it's sticky condition to actually set the gravity to the left or right you can or you can easily get all the methods which are uh, related to is on this side label so you can see right here you can actually set everything oh it's not sticky it's called anchor actually you can set you can set the anchor to left right or center so you can Wait, you'll understand when you do it right okay so now we have a label which uh, which which currently doesn't show anything but let's make it so that it will show something whenever this uh, whenever a button whenever a button is clicked so let's do this so let's create another another method called diff Date label so we don't have to type the same code every time every every time we are every time in these methods so let's pass in global index we are gonna say global song name why did we pass this because song name is we want to use the same song name which we created earlier not there something which we create locally we're gonna say v dot set and here's what it is uh, we created a v which is a string where and we're going to say real names index we're going to set this to whatever it is in the real names index so we can we're going to return song name return song name so what we're going to do is we'll call this update label method every time we do something every time you say next song we have to update label every, every time you click previous song we have to update label I don't think we really need this so if you want if you stop song you can just uh, you don't need to update label we can say v dot set empty and return song label maybe song name maybe that will do okay so maybe this will work maybe not let's check it out and let's don't forget to pack everything whatever you use so I use song label I need to pack it in what right in. let's check it out oh it's not Just oh it's guitar, working Michael. Everybody gets high sometimes Baby, this is 
So as you can see, uh, it's actually working. It's actually showing me the names of the songs. And I have some error, but I don't know what error it was. Let me just check that again. Up with it, girl. Rock with it. Oh, it actually says um, line 26 update label. Won't return anything. And let's try this again. And next. Up with it. Just next. the guitar. Just the guitar, okay. Baby. Baby. And there you have it. A music player with complete functionalities it works perfectly as we expected and and the good thing is you can actually do it keep any folder you want and it'll automatically add all the mp3 songs which are in this so you can see you have a lot of mp3 songs in this folder and all of them automatically loaded and actually show the real name of the song and if I press next song it autom automatically starts playing them and that's it I guess so is there anything else we can do to this uh, music player maybe a, a bit of colors and all and it, it's very easy to do and if you know if you understand what or what we what we did just now I'll just show you where to see where to see all the other modules and all the other methods which are associated with the current modules which we used so you can make a much better fleshed out mp3 music player so let me show you one second So uh, right now we're in the Pi game. We can just go to mi mixer, I think. Where is it? where is it? Documentation. Yeah, here it is. Pi game dot mixer, and you can, as you can see, we have all these methods associated with the Pi game dot mixer. So if you want to set a volume button, maybe set a volume button up volume up and volume down button right here and here and you can call the methods called volume where's the volume is there a volume there should be a volume right are we in the right thing I don't see the play and all wait we are not yeah here here's the right module sorry so here we go so we have set volume get volume so as you can see Q as you can use the Q method to actually queue all the songs so you don't have to press next song every time when you uh, when this song finish I mean completes uh, completes its time and you can have a pause button stop button rewind button uh, actually these two are very very important you can say set volume and get uh, set volume you can automatically change the volume if you say if you press the up volume button you can update the volume by one or by two whatever you want and if you click on volume down you can decrement the volume values and these are bunch of other methods I mean other methods which you can use to make a much better fleshed out mp3 player so that's it I guess and if you have any other questions on regarding this project and it does if you have any any troubles regarding this project you can ask me in the comments and that's it guys thank you for watching